I hate minivans. They are heavy, they have high center of gravity, and all the same silhouette. I thought it would reluctantly choice for daddies. So, this car really like that. Toyota No. Let's find out more. Okay, let's check out the exterior first. This Toyota No, very popular series in Japan. Many of you maybe want to buy one, but it's a bit expensive. Hmm. I would like to talk about how to buy one at the very low price. The front face is quite massive and has strong presence. The body size is 46 and 95 mm in length, 70 30 mm in width, and 1895 in height. This Toyota Noor was reborn as a successor to the Town Ace Noor in 1996 and is now in its third generation. The category is the Japanese unique culture minivan. As I said at the beginning, I am not a fan of minivans because they are all square and not so cool. My wife is always bugging me, but I'm raising my kids with the sedan. Whoa, it looks fast. I don't feel that at all, but it has nice personality. My personal favorite design point is not outline of the rear window, instead the underscart part. Normally, a large resin parts would be added, but in this case, they dare to create nipped-in shadow. This reduces the boxy feeling and creates the illusion of slim appearance. See man, you like the nips, don't you? And boobs. They are trying to make it little more sporty. Oh, I forgot. The Toyota Nets Otaka no Mori branch cooperated in shooting this video. Thank you very much for the cooperation. Okay, let's focus on the front. Darn! The boxy is even more. It looks a bit intimidating when see through the rear view mirror. Why cannot Japanese minivan have anything other than the grill? The Alford no longer looks like a Mad Max. I'd like to see our sharp flowing design instead of the gruff one. This is one of why I hate minivan's design. In that sense, I feel very disappointed that Estima is gone. Children grows up watching their father's back. So be careful not to become a daddy with only big face. There are five grays available. The body color is total of seven colors with a slightly darker color palette. As for the rear, all minivans are the same. Do you think I would say so? Nope, I'm sure looking at it right. Instead of vertical lamps, the rear gate light unit is also gross. It's a little richer manufacturing. Also, the rear wiper is hidden by spoiler for cleaner looks. Pretty good point. Here is a lighting pattern for you. Seventeen-inch aluminum wheel looks like this. Process from Toyota. Looking at the engine compartment, oh, the engine is low. The bonnet could be lower a little more. The powertrain is a 1.8 liter hybrid and 2 liter NEA engine. Fifth generation new hybrid system. Motor output increased by 16%. The power control unit here has been made more compact and the electric energy loss has been reduced by 29%. Next, the interior, first luggage. Of course, it is spacious, but even though it is hybrid, there is also 104 liters of space under the floor. Woo. You can leave outside toys, spare baby diaper, something like that. I would like to share with you is the Toyota's passions for the third seat. 1. Easy to stow. It's one touch with one hand anymore. This is addictive. It's secured with a latch so there is no ribbons to pull. 2. No oppressive feeling when it's folded. The previous generation was at the level of hmm, the third seat can be rise up, sniff sniff, but this time it's completely stowed. You should pull off the cover and observe the hinges. Oh my. For interior design department, good job. And 3. Because it's stowed, the second seat has straight long slide. No more push and up. So that means, yes, 
It can't fully lick line. This is the revolution. This is now a duty. Let's check the dandy check from the daddy's viewpoint. Baby strollers can now fit any size. Applied, lying down, planted, just do what you want now. Even the car seat is what the heck? Oh, sliding doors. So there is no inconvenience. You can stand and squat in the car and take care of your baby as much as you want. Really helpful on rainy days. The rear gate switches are now located on the left and right side. This is convenient. Say that again. This is convenient. And you can also stop in the middle and if it touches any object. Nice work. What I like about it, you have to press and hold it for a little while. When a 3 or 4 years old said, I'll open it for you, pop 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 pop, and hit the car parked behind, <gasps> what have you done? Well, maybe eliminate it. There is jam protection feature, it's available, safe for children. The rear seat space is so spacious for me, usually drive a sedan, that my brain is explode. Is this the same, the car? Almost a bus. You can walk through to the third seat. And the third seat is not soft enough, so it is not very relaxing. But the windows are large, so it feels spacious. And there is also cup holders. Second seat have good visibility. It also has sunshade. Oh, nice. I envy. In addition, long slide, armrest, ottoman, USB port, and tray. Just need to relax with smartphone and you'll be at the destination. This is not for the little monster, pretty little child with too much energy. The very tired father, rather for you to sit on. Child locks are available, there is also isofix blackets. This is a panoramic view for the rear seat. Less than stylish, more like logical arrangement of the necessary pieces. The sit knob is not toy-like. So there is a sense of unity. By now, do you know the story of Noah's Ark? An Old Testament story. One day, God, angry at the depravity of mankind, said, Oh well, I'm going to wash it all away. But Noah, I'm going to give you a warning in secret. You are welcome. Huh? I, I don't get it, but uh, uh, okay, okay. Thanks, thanks million God. Then Mr. Noah built a big ship, got on board with his family and animals, and escaped from the flood, so all the life it survived. What a crazy story. Even this Toyota Noah was probably named after the concept that it could transport the whole family and even pets. I don't think there is anything wrong with the minivan, but to be precise, I hate the halfway thing. For example, I dislike van made sporty or having loud muffler even though only 1.5 liter at most, or front wheel drive even though it's an SUV, or adding a lot of aerodynamic parts on the vehicle that is piece of shit to begin with. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, I mean, I hate overdressed. I want his personality to be respected, both the maker and the owner. In that sense, this no is true family car, so I have to admit it. What I'm worried about is the driving and safety performance to protect my family. Let's check that in the next chapter. The door lining is a simple silver and black, typical of Toyota recent design. The upper part and the armrest are moist and soft to the touch. The overall view looks like this. The seat is high. Now let's get in. The first thing that catch my eye is this remote. It's optional, but you have the theater display. Showing cartoons to kids and we can go on a long trips. The steering wheel is quite normal, but the spoke have been made thinner, which is pretty cool. The switches on the left side are the audio system and right side for the driving support system. Seat adjustment is manual. The throttle pedal is a suspended type. Driving position is not bad, no toe bump when stepping on. The steering wheel axis is also centered of your body. This view from the driver's seat. When the third seat folded up, visibility to the rear is not great, but the forward visibility is excellent. I wonder if all minivans are like this? Amazing, easy to see. 
under the 10.5 inch display audio system is the AC vent, seat heat switches, and AC controls. Oh, Nano E! Did you know this? It's amazing. Prevents musty smell. At the first glance, I thought these silver switches were toggle switches, but they are push type. And since it's sharply designed, so the corner of the switch stings my finger at a little when I press it. Mm, I kind of dislike the switch. Electric set knob, electric parking, drive mode, and advanced park buttons. Further down is a tray for the small item, cup holder, and straight box. This area looks very plasticky, so I'd like to see a little more work done to it. Digital in the mirror on the overhead console. What? Uh, I can open the luggage gate and sliding doors here? Oh, awesome. Too convenient, isn't it? It's almost like a taxi cab. So how was it? Toyota's new noor. The unique Japanese culture, Miniman. The silhouette has not changed that much, but it was interesting various model changes that have been added in places you cannot see. Next time, I will take a test drive. This is my first time to drive a minivan, and I wonder if I will make it home alive. Please subscribe and wait a few days. Even if you become a dad, please ride that you think will be cool car. Now to daddy and mommies around the world, good job today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.